On Monday, we found out that factory activity was slammed across the world in April. Factory orders in the U.S. sank 10.3 percent in March. Australia's jaw advertisements suffered their largest ever fall in April and that the British consumer sentiment has dropped to its lowest since January 2012, all thanks to the coronavirus lockdowns. However, on Monday, oil was up 3 percent as more countries announced they will begin easing coronavirus lockdowns. At the same time, Japan's Abe extended state of emergency to May 31st. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Tuesday, we'll be eyeing RBA's rate decision, Canada's trade balance, and New Zealand's unemployment rate. Today, I'm looking at the Kiwi dollar pair, which completed its pullback phase on Monday after breaking above the daily Ichimoku cloud end of last week. The future cloud is now bullish, so purely from a technical point of view, we could expect the pair to see gains from here, potentially towards the 61 percent Fibonacci retracement level of 0.6259. Of course, tomorrow's economic data could play a role in the market sentiment and change this outlook. Do you think the Kiwi dollar pair is ready for more gains? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.